welcome back to my channel today i am going to show you my setup that i have made for my 2019 planner and if you guys have seen my last haul video you guys know that i had i, I bought a faith warrior happy planner and then i also bought the super mom happy planner and basically what i did was i wanted to take the i wanted to have the cover and the um and the dividers for the faith warrior happy planner but i wanted to have the dashboards for the super mom happy planner so basically what i did was i kind of makeshifted all of them into one planner so i took out the soap method um weekly the weekly spreads for the Faith Warrior um, Happy Planner, and I put in the Super Mom inserts for with with the Super Mom Happy Planner for the weekly spreads. So I, I think this is a better system for me, especially as I become an adult. <laughs> and uh, well, I am an adult I, as as I realize that I'm an adult and I need to have a dedicated section for bills to pay and then calls and emails and what I need to buy and errands and that kind of thing. And then I can kind of get creative on this side of the page and, you know, well, and then have a what's for dinner because I need to meal plan. Um, you know, I need to meal plan. That's one of the things, one of my New Year's resolutions is to meal plan more and focus more on my diet. So, you know, I have the, these sections and I thought this particular style of a weekly view was a lot better for me than the typical vertical or horizontal layouts that the Happy Planner has for their weekly spreads. So I'm excited about this. I The only thing is when I go to decorate, um, when I go to decorate everything by week, all of these little sections are um, mom related. So um, every time I decorate a section, decorate a weekly spread, this is the first thing that gets covered up because I, I don't need this. I do not need this at all. I am nobody's mother. So um, so yeah, so that it's that's fine. Like this is easy to cover up. This is actually this actually fits a box from a vertical happy planner so that's easy to that's easy to cover up but um but yeah that's the that's the shell of what I wanted my happy planner to be and then I've actually added a couple of things along the way with this happy planner that I wanted to show you guys and I'm excited to show you guys so I have first off let me just say I have these um these dashboards in my planner and these are actually from the Healthy Hero Mini Happy Planner. So they're made for, they're fitted for the mini. That's why they're so short. But, um, but I don't want to buy any more dashboards. So, um, I'm just going to stick them in this classic sized Happy Planner. It's fine. I, I don't care. <laughs> I just need something to, um, divide each section up as I see fit. But that's, I, I don't need anything else like I, I really don't need anything else so I'm I'm going to just leave these mini covers in here these mini dashboards in here and it's fine but yeah this is the healthy hero um these are the healthy hero dashboards but um I wanted to follow suit with this happy planner like a um like a bullet journal almost so like the the inspiration of a bullet journal so most of the bullet journals that i've seen you have your yearly pages and then it scales down from monthly then to weekly and then some people do daily spreads um and that's what i wanted this to be i wanted this to have kind of a year in advance view first in the planner and then the next section would turn into my monthlies so i don't jump straight into like um you know welcome to the happy planner what's going on for january i wanted it to have a feel of i want to have like a year in advance view first and then plan from there so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> so I have these spreads that I've made already, and I actually I I didn't want to make these on camera because 
I could actually kind of take my time and focus um, when I did these spreads. Like that's what I really wanted to do. So, um, so I want to show you what I've done and then just kind of talk you through it. But, um, but yeah, so I have right here, this is a year at a glance and I actually got most of these um, inspirations from Heather Kell and yeah, I mean, Heather Kell is like the goat around here. She's, I just get all my inspiration from her. So, um, yeah, so I have this year at a glance view of what's going on in my year, which is not a lot. <laughs> it's just really a lot of birthdays and, um, you know, I have a housewarming party coming up and I just want to be able to see things as they happen. So when someone comes up to me tomorrow and says, hey, Jessica, let's plan something for September. And I can glance at my planner and say, what do I have going on in September? Oh, nothing? Sure. <laughs> let's let's plan something. You know, like I want to be able to do that because I know for a fact that if I look at my planner in February and somebody talks about something in November, I'm not going to know off the top of my head what's going on in November. And I'm definitely not going to have plan like I'm not going to be able to have planned that far in advance for November yet. So, um I wanted to just have a spread on here that basically list out things that you know like just generalized events that are happening by the month so that I can just have a feel of what my 2019 is going to look like and just be able to plan ahead. So, that's what this page is. I decorated it with the um uh, it's a it's an old sticker book. It's one of the OG sticker books. I don't even know. I don't even think it has a name, but um, it's this sticker book. It's I don't even. There's no name on it, but um, it has a bunch of. It just has a bunch of flowers and stuff. Like it's just it's very it's a very bright and colorful sticker book. I use up all the flowers, but. Um, but yeah, it's one of those just very, very bright sticker books with a bunch of florals in it. So that's where these flowers come from. The, um, the stickers with the months on it actually comes from the Dates and Holidays sticker book from um, the Happy Memory Keeping collection. So this isn't technically the planner stuff. So like usually in a Michaels store, I, I usually go to Michaels and usually in Michaels, the memory keeping stuff is not with the regular happy planner stuff so you know you might have to go look on another aisle for that stuff but um but yeah so that's basically how i made this spread and then the boxes are from the colorful boxes sticker book but um which is this one i feel like i gotta show all of them because <laughs> i just showed the other two but i used those three sticker books and you know just took a page and decorated so that's basically it that's this that's this page so I'm very excited how this page turned out and then I have somewhere to write for stuff I could just plan my year ahead you know so I'm excited about that this next page is resolutions so I wanted to do a kind of um I didn't want to I, I went back and forth about should I make a vision board or should I just do something in my planner or what but at the end I decided to just go with this like I just decided to go with a resolutions page in my planner and then I just wanted to make this black and and silver because I never use silver and then I have this glitter washi that I never ever use so um, I wanted to just add all of this to one spread and that's it like I just have I just have a couple of things that I want to do every month and or sorry but um I want to do every week basically so most of these are divided by week and then some things are divided by month but yeah I just decided to make a resolutions page for 2019 so so yeah so that's that and then I actually just got this inspiration from uh I can't remember her name right now I'm gonna link her Instagram down below I can't remember her name is it Karima plans I don't I can't remember it's I I just followed someone on Instagram and she was flipping through her 2018 planner and 
I saw that she had a books to read section in her planner and I was like "Ooh, I need that because I actually do have a list of books I don't know where it's at at the moment but I do have a list of books that I want to read for 2019 some of them being the Harry Potter books because I'm still not done reading those oh I actually just printed this out this is a printable um from starts at eight and I'll link her blog down below and show you guys like where I got this printable but um, basically the plan is to like write out what books I want to read on the spines of these books and then color them in as I finish so that's what I want to do and um yeah and those are that's basically those are the trackers that I have so far actually now that I'm thinking about it last year I made a tv binge watching this is my old planner by the way um I made a TV show list, kind of like my books. And what happened to it? What happened to my TV shows? Okay. Y'all, somebody just stole my TV shows. I don't know what happened to them. When did I do that? Did I do it in October? Here it is. Okay. I did this. I did this TV shows to watch um, thing in my happy planner last year and I actually need to add that back to um, this planner because I didn't get through any of this I got through um, I got through Ozark and then the rest of oh this actually looks like the other one that looks like my master plan okay whatever um, I got through Ozark, but I didn't do none of the rest of these. <laughs> like, I didn't watch anything else. But, um, so yeah, so I need to add this to my to my planner as well. So this is a tracker too. And basically this is kind of a bucket list type of uh, spread of just TV shows that I wanted to watch. Um, I'll link this video down below too. But that is it, you guys. That is just basically a quick flip through of my 2019 planner i am very excited i'm very excited to use a new system like kind of a new layout i feel like i've been using the um i've been using the vertical layout for so long that i'm excited to jump into a new sort of layout for you guys and see how it works for me we'll see how long it takes um if if it doesn't work out, you know, we'll be back to vertical. But um, but in the meantime, I'm excited to see how this works for me. But that is it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know how you guys have set up your 2019 planner in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Bye.